This is the first of a series of videos where I will give you a few tips on how to improve your art or how, how to go about uh, progressing if you're interested in doing art. Before we get started, we need to pick out our reference photo. And this is probably one of the most important things to do. It's important to take your time and choose a good quality reference photo. If you're doing a portrait, whether it's a person or an animal, you really need to focus on the eyes. You want detail in the eyes so that your final drawing will be more lifelike. It's best to work from a high resolution image. This allows you to zoom into areas, pick out the details, and apply those details to your drawing. One important factor is any copyright issues associated with the your reference photo. If you can, take the photo yourself. If you take the photo yourself, you own the copyright. You don't have to worry about copyright images. When you're taking the photo yourself, you can frame it the way you want. Nowadays, you're going to be using a camera that's probably high definition or even uh, higher resolution, so you don't have to worry about resolution. If you are using someone else's image, it's best to use one that is uh, Creative Commons. Use Google Image Search, and then I'll click on the Search Tools. Go down to the usage rights, select labeled for reuse with modification, or simply labeled for reuse. Now the Google image search isn't always accurate. Sometimes things are labeled for use, but there are some restrictions. So it's better to, rather than just copy the image out of Google, to follow it up, go to the source, and, and try and find out more details. If you have any concerns or doubts about the copyright of your reference photo, then you're better off not using it. Finally, I'll just go over three images of uh, Basset puppy dogs. And the first one is of a uh, Basset lying in the grass. And uh, one of the problems with this one is if I zoom in, there's a lot of noise in the picture. Even though I've sharpened up the image, it's still fairly blurry. There's not a lot of detail. So if you zoom in, you don't get detail in the eyes. It looks like the focus point of the camera was near the dog's tail and the grass in the background. If the dog was in focus, this would be a good picture to use. There's just enough shading and a good assortment of colors. So for this second one, again, it's a Basset or a Basset Beagle Mix. Uh, in this case, the dog's face is in focus, but they've used a low F number or open aperture camera. This has caused the, the dog's nose and eyes to be in focus, but everything else is out of focus. And I've even sharpened up this image to try and get some other features into focus. So although it's a high resolution image and it's a nice image because it's hard to pick out any details other than the face I probably wouldn't use it. Low F number lenses work well for human faces mainly because they're they're almost two dimension but for a dog where its face is more three dimensional they don't work that well you know you can focus on the nose but unless it's a pug your eyes and maybe your ears will be out of focus. So you're better off using a higher F number lens. This last one I didn't clean up. It's not a high resolution image, and that's about the only problem with it. There is some details in the eyes if you zoom in. Most of the dog is in focus. You can see detail in the feet. Uh, there's plenty of color, and there's contrast. The only parts of the dog that are out of focus are its tail, and that's actually quite reasonable to have some part of it out of focus. If you zoom in to try and pick up some details, you'll notice that it's very pixelated. But even with this amount of pixelation, you can still kind of guess as to what the picture would look like. So it's still a good image to work from.
I hope these tips help you out when you're choosing a reference image. My next tutorial will be on tracing out your reference image.